Hey guys, so today what I have for you is a two month pull up progression from me going from doing 12 pull ups every session to doing 64 pull ups every session. Um, it's basically me going through and looking at my progress throughout the two months. I'll be running through the mistakes I've made and what has gone well and um, yeah, hope you enjoy the video and hope you get something out of it. Cool. April 3rd, 2020. Now, this is the first time I did pull ups on the rings. My form needed work. As you can see, the arms weren't straight. Maybe it was my first time, so give me the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, it needed work. Just give me a bad back, sit up straight like this. This is April 10th, 2020. So, as you can see, you probably noticed this, my grip is really narrow. Um, this is the first time I did a pull up max test and I got nine, but as you can see, the form, it's not great, it's okay. It's not great. My legs are driving in the air. Arms aren't fully straight. But yeah, it was my first time doing it. So I don't know if I'll count that as nine full pull-ups, but yeah, it was, it's, what I, it's what I did at the start. So April 13th, this was 10 days after my first time doing pull-ups. As you can see, I completed five reps before I could only do four. Um, and my form is better. My arms are straighter than they were before. My legs are still like raising in the air. They're not really driving me in the air, but they are like, kind of lifting me up in a way i guess um but the form definitely looks improved obviously it's just doing it day after day you'll gradually get better and that's something i was looking at before really trying to work on my form about at the time yeah my arms fully weren't fully extended but so the next day this is my first time using a weight vest uh, it's four and a half kilos using weight is a really good way to build your strength and just to get better at doing normal pull-ups without weight as well so if i'd give it a go it was really challenging Managed to complete four reps. Uh, my form was a bit better. My arm's getting that little bit straighter each time. Um, but yeah. And the day after that, as you can see, I'm just trying to work on it every day. I managed to complete five reps with the four and a half kilo weight belt, weight, belt, weight vest. Um, <laughs> good achievement. And my form is looking better again. My legs are still kind of raising me in the air, but my arms are definitely getting straighter. Um, but yeah. So April 17th, this is my first time doing proper form. My arms are fully extended here. Completed five reps. And my wrists, which is good, my wrists are starting to twist in more as well at the top, and which works on biceps as well, which I wasn't really doing before. I was kind of just keeping them like that. Doing your form, I can't stress this enough, doing proper form is the best way to get better. Like if you're just doing it wrong over and over again, you will improve at a much slower rate than if you just try and do it properly. Even if you're doing it for less reps, doing the proper form, is way more beneficial if you want to improve at something. So the same day, April 17th, this is my first time doing wide pull-ups now. The wide pull-ups, I wasn't a fan. On a bar, I'd say it's easier because the rings, they move around and I didn't really enjoy, it wasn't very comfortable at all. Um, maybe I should have kept doing them, but from this day, I didn't do them again, wasn't a fan. My form still looks pretty good and I managed to complete five reps, which, which is pretty decent. Again on April 17th. One, now, this two, is my first time three. doing declines. Declines are really good if you want to build One, strength. Two, um, just getting used three, to that time under pressure. Um, for this, I'll do five sets of five reps with a four and a half kilo vest. I should have really done more of these at the start, um, I, but my knowledge wasn't great on pull-ups. But just asking around, asking people that know what they're doing and they give you some great help and uh, end up doing declines. So, three days later, as you can see, we've got another new hairstyle. Um, <laughs> I literally look like an egg, just a human egg. This is my first time doing five sets of five with good form. Um, so I was doing 25 reps per session now. Um, and that was with good form. My arms fully extended, wrists are twisting inwards now. Obviously 25 reps in a session is over double um, what I started doing. Obviously it's a good improvement. Plenty more of improvements to go, but it's a good start after just over two and a half weeks of training. So, to test myself, this is on the 24th of April, um, I would do a pull-up max, just see how many pull-ups I could do in a row. I got nine, that was pretty good. Um, I wanted to get to 10, but I, I got like, well, we'll call it nine and a half, maybe nice. nine and three quarters, but I didn't complete it, so obviously doesn't count. My form is actually pretty good. Uh, my arms are reasonably straight, and my legs oh, are not driving, aren't really driving me in the air at all. My legs are coming out in front of oh, me a tiny bit, but yeah. that is actually a good thing to do. Like, that is what you're meant to do. Um, and that does help improve uh, oh. your pull-ups as well. <laughs> April 27th. Now, this is my first time doing heavy weighted pull-ups. Um, yeah, I was doing three reps, obviously three to five reps for strength. Um, so I stuck with three. 
for five sets, 11 and a half kilo weight. That was a really good weight. That was probably the right weight for me. I was literally, I would only just be able to do it, um, which is what you need. Yeah, so a bit of backstory about this video. I was meant to rest, so this was on a Monday. I was meant to rest on a Sunday. I'd be training all week. For some reason, I decided on Sunday evening to go out, nice do some more pull-ups. Um, that was very stupid because I had a pull-up max the next day and I did absolutely terribly, as you can see here. See by the video, I got eight and a half reps, nice, which is nice. less Dang. by one rep than what Sweet. I did previously. So that's not good. That is the importance of rest days. Uh, my form here is good, but yeah, the importance of rest days. By about the fourth rep here, I remember feeling shattered. I was like, yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to get above, get above 10 today. So make sure you take rest days seriously because if you don't rest, it will just ruin your progress. You need your time. You need time for your muscles to build and grow. So yeah, just make sure you take your rest days. May 5th. So this is about a week after I first did my first session of heavy weighted pull-ups. As you can see here, I've increased the weight by two kilos. Every week or every session I did strength, it was kind of just trial and error, trying how many, how much weight I could do. One thing I would say is increase the weight when you can. Don't, don't want to stay on the weight that's just easy for you. You want to push yourself. Increase the weight when, like, as soon as you can, increase the weight. That will increase your strength quicker and just give you better benefits for the future. So May 8th, this was after a rest day. I was doing 17 and a half kilos for three reps. Obviously that's a, pardon me, a four kilo increase from last time, but I am only doing that for one set. I couldn't do that for the remaining four. So for the remaining four sets, I did 15 and a half kilos. Again, that's just a weight increase from last time, which is good. Just making improvements when I can, especially after a rest day as well, felt quite fresh. So I thought stack on some weight, I could do 17 and a half. Um, and I did 15 and a half for the other four sets. So, <laughs> this is on the same day. I was obviously feeling myself this day. I, uh, <laughs> I tried doing a 30 kilo pull up. Didn't go my way, as you can see. I just, I physically just couldn't move. Like, yeah, that's a, that's a big step. 30 kilos on a pull up. Don't know what was going through my head that day. Anyways, after that, I thought, you know what? Take off seven kilos, I'll be able to do it. Wrong again, I mean, did I really get higher than 90 degrees again? I'm not sure, oh but yeah, that was just my limit. Well, it wasn't even my limit because I'm literally nowhere near. Um, <laughs> but you've got to try these things. May 12th, as you can see, really trying to improve my strength here. Um, I did declines with 27 kilos. I did three sets of five reps for five second declines. <laughs> with declines, declines are obviously easier than pull-ups, um, but it is a really good way to build your strength. And obviously 20 kilos, you want to go really heavy with the declines and that will really help you to um, increase your strength. May 14th, it's my first time doing seven sets of seven pull-ups. Yeah, obviously really happy with this. Seven reps in a row for sets, really good for me. Um, 49 reps total. And my form is actually really good as well. This is a recording of my last set. I think form is something that I won't really need to talk about much anymore because after like the first month, I kind of got the hang of um, fully extending my arms and stuff and not like driving my legs in the air. But yeah, seven sets of seven, 49 pull-ups in a session. I'm happy. May 18th, this is a big step as well. My first time getting over 10 pull-ups. My form, I look like I'm rushing it, but my arms like were fully straight. I was just trying to power through and my wrists are rotating at the top. And yeah, I managed to get 12 reps completed. I failed on the 13th. And that is exactly why rest days are important. Like I can't stress that enough. Before I didn't have a rest day and I got eight yes, and a half sir. reps. A few weeks later, you rest. Obviously I was improving because I was training as well, but I mean, managed to get 12 reps, 14, over 10. Yeah, buzzing about that. Ah. May 19th, my heaviest One, decline two, so far. Three, as you can see, four, sunny day, five. got the shades on. Um, One, <laughs> but yeah, three sets of five reps, 31 kilos decline. My first time going over 30 kilos. Again, One, another, way, two, another good way to build strength, just stacking on the weight for the declines. Obviously the weights do look funny, One, We've got an eight kilo kettlebell and the rest are just small, like two kilo, two and a half kilo weights. And obviously the four and a half kg weight vest as well. Three, four, five. Nice. May 26th. So my first time doing 20 kilo pull-ups. I did the first set with three reps uh, for 20 kilos. The remaining sets after that, I did with 17 and a half kilos. Um, I did that, that's kind of how I do improve because Example, with the six sets of seven stuff, or the seven sets of seven, the start of that, I would have done three sets of seven and then three sets of six. And then the next session, I maybe would have tried um, five sets of seven and then the last one set of six, so I couldn't complete it. And after that, you gradually build to be able to do, for example, seven sets of seven. So by putting that at the start, the first set doing 20 kilos, 
The next session after that, which we'll see in a bit, um, I managed to do the first three sets with 20 kilos. Um, so it's, it's just working your way up, just trying out new weights and just being consistent. So May 30th, just under two months, and I've managed to get to eight sets of eight, which is 64 pull-ups in a session in total. Obviously that's a massive improvement from when I first started, I was doing 12 pull-ups in a session. Um, yeah, I was really happy with this. This is a recording of my last set. And yeah, it's a massive improvement. My aim is to get to 10 sets of 10 eventually. Obviously 100 pull-ups in a session is massive. It's on another sunny day. Um, but yeah, this was a good day for me. So next one, the 1st of June. Um, here, as I was talking about before, I was doing three sets of 20 kilos for three reps, and the remaining two sets I would have done with a 17 and a half. Um, really struggling on this one, as you can see, I've got veins popping up my face everywhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, you've got to push yourself, and yeah, hopefully next time I'll be able to do the full five sets with the 20 kilo weight. 